Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a quick art tip today. I had a lot of people ask me what ox gall is, so I decided I would order a little pan of it and um, and give it a try. I find that most of my colors flow really well on paper. Some, you know, earthy pigments won't move quite as much due to the weight of the pigment particles, but I generally have not had a problem with flow in my watercolors. But um, I know that's sometimes an issue, especially with student grade paint, so I found some synthetic ox gall in a pan. I just figured that'd be more convenient than having a bottle to deal with uh, by the Lucas Company and I'm just going to mix a puddle of it here on my palette. I'm just going to give it a little spritz of water there. Um, Oxgall is a flow agent which means it should help your pigments flow on the paper. So I'm going to clean off my brush here. Now I will let you, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that while we're painting here, because I've been rinsing my brush in, in the water buckets, chances are everything's going to have a little ox gall in it by now. Um, I am going to use Schmincke paints because I believe Schmincke is formulated without ox gall, although I have not had a problem with Schmincke uh, paints not flowing well. Um, but I think it's just, I think it may be a wetting agent that um, is added maybe copiously to certain brands of paint to give it extra flow. If you have paints at home that, is, that just like you paint and it sits there, it doesn't do anything, you may consider adding a little ox gall to your water or in a little mix up a little cup of it and have it ready for when you are painting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first here is just grab some, uh, it's like a lemon yellow here and just dab it a few times here. You can see it's not really doing much. It's moving a little bit. It's flowing okay. You can see the little spots are getting a little bit bigger. Um, and this is a pretty glossy paper. If I if I tip it, the paint will flow a little bit in the direction that I'm tipping it in. I hope you can see that. It looks like you can see it all right in my monitor. And now I'm gonna take a red and I'm gonna mix it with the um, with the ox gall. Um, mix it, I'll mix it right into this puddle here. I don't know how much I should use really. So we're gonna dab the red in there and look what happens. It just kind of blooms like a flower. See that? You can really see that flowing. Isn't that cool? Let's try it with a different color. Mix up a little bit more, grab a little more ox gall. Let's use a um, color that's a little bit more granular. Um, let's do like an ultramarine here. a hard time getting enough out of my actually I've got some Daniel Smith ultramarine let me go with that because I think that might come up out a little bit easier okay did I add any I think I did yep see how much how much that flows with the ox gall in it it just makes it kind of just burst out so if you have seen people paint and their paint is like going whoosh and you're bummed out that yours isn't instead of buying a new set of paints just try a little ox gall let's try that same yellow uh that we were using with a little ox gall and see if that improves the uh flow yes it does oh it's it it does i don't know if you can see it. let me dab it in the middle of the red the red still is, has dried a little bit put it in the middle of the yellow maybe you can see it is flowing now quite a bit more I'll put it in another middle of a yellow spot and you can see it's flowing much more than it did before on its own. So that's that's kind of fun, I think. Um, and then you just have a little more versatility with the different paints that you have. I'm going to try some of this in that mix that had the ox gall in it. It's just a kind of a cool, cool effect. So that's ox gall. If you think that your paints don't flow enough and that's something that would benefit you, I paid three dollars and fifty cents for my two my uh, half pan of ox gall. It's also available in um, in bottles. I got the synthetic ox gall. Real ox gall comes from cow bladder, I believe, or the stomach lining of cows. I'm not. I think it comes from the gallbladder of cows. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. You can get a synthetic version. Honestly, I think you could probably even use soap to get the same effect. In fact, how about I pause the video and I try it? Hang on a minute. Okay, I grabbed a little brush soap because it was the closest thing I had handy. We're gonna try the exact same thing. So this is just the backside of um, another experiment. I'm just gonna wet that down because I don't want to waste another piece of paper <laughs> if it doesn't, you know, because this is just, Fun playing. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna repeat the experiment. I'm gonna first go in with my regular yellow, dabbing that on. 
Okay, actually this one's flowing a little better here because this paper has more sizing. So that's another thing that affects how your paper flows. So now I gotta find a new place to mix. I've gotta mix my soap. So let's wipe off these colors here. And let's add some soap. And this is brush soap, so I know it's not gonna hurt anything. It might be a little, I don't know, a little chunky. <laughs> I don't know, it's a crazy, crazy experiment. Okay, so we're going to do ultramarine with one. Okay, so let's see. The soap does seem to make it want to flow pretty well. And probably because just like Oxgall, it reduces the surface tension of the water. Of course, I don't know how archival using soap is, but uh, but it's kind of fun. You know, we'll do that same red color. Yeah, that actually... <laughs> That really did improve the flow. That's so funny. So, okay, you know what? If you have cheap paint and um, and you've been having, you know, trouble getting it to blend, then, you know, try some soap, I guess. <laughs> I think I need a little more water in that one. But yeah, the soap's actually making it blend really well, too. Oh, that's funny. I probably would maybe use, like, a dish soap instead of the... Um, instead of the brush cleaner just because I think brush cleaner might have a little bit of pumice in it but uh yeah <laughs> the soap seemed to do quite well too um we could dry some soap onto this one I don't know if it might be too dry now but let's try with this color because that color is pretty juicy I think the paper's too dry here I'll try a, I'll try an oxgall one with that color just to just to make sure that was this color I think actually no the oxgall is working better than soap so there you have it guys the oxgall works better than soap but soap will work in a pinch so there's the oxgall there so um, so there you have it a little bit of fun experimentation um, in watercolors uh, that's I was curious about it. I'm also curious about granulation medium, so maybe I will buy some of that and try that next. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know anybody else that would find it helpful, go ahead and share it with them. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because I'd love to see you here again next time. And until then, happy crafting.